Carly Riley and I teach environmental science at Callieworth College. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little look at what environmental science is. So we're going to look at what the topics you will study are, how we're going to study them and where this course can take you in the future. So in the first year we start with the topic of the physical environment and in that we study the atmosphere. So we look at how the climate is changing and how humans are having an impact on that. We're also going to study the hydrosphere so we'll look at the water cycle, how we use water and how we are mismanaging that as humans. We also study mining, so we look at how we get our resources out of the ground and what are the environmental impacts of that and the impact that has on the wider world. We'll also study the biogeochemical cycles, so the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the phosphorus cycle, and again look at how humans are having an impact on those. We finish the topic with soil, so we do some practical soil investigations looking at the different types of soil and how that affects what we can grow. We also study in the first year the living environment, so that looks at how life on Earth began, um, how species interact with each other and those special relationships that some organisms have. We'll look at conservation here in the UK and the managing strategies that we use. We'll also look at um, how we conserve biomes around the world, so we'll look at tropical rainforests, Antarctica and coral reefs just to name a few. The second year builds on the first year, so we look at pollution of the air the land and the water and again what are the impacts of those and how we can minimise them. We'll also study energy so we'll look at how we need to move towards a renewable society and what problems we're going to have to overcome to get there and how we're going to provide energy for a growing population. Also we study um, our biological resources so we look at our forests and the things that they can provide for us we look at agriculture and the different methods used there and how different methods can be used in different environments. Um, we'll look at fishing and aquaculture as well and again how that can be done sustainably. So throughout the whole course we also study sustainability um, and how that is really useful to humans in the future. So how you study environmental science? Well it's mostly classroom based but we will integrate some lab activities in there and do some practicals and get out and around and test our um, environment meters and take um, data recordings around the college. We'll also go out on a couple of field days where we'll go rain or shine so it's really important you like going out in the environment and investigating things and being excited about the world around you. We'll also have some field trip activities so we get to go to Nuki Zoo as an optional extra and we also go to the incinerator and there's other field works always planned um, throughout the year. The way that you'll be assessed for environmental science is you will have two um, exams at the end of the two year course. There's no coursework, but you will be asked about those practicals that we have done in class and there will be some uh, short essay writing. So it's, it's important to have some good English skills as well. Other courses that work really well with environmental science are geology and geography, but they are not essential to study. Like I said before, all we ask is that you're interested in the environment and enthusiastic about learning. So one of the things we do in environmental science is we go and test the water quality of a river. So what we do is we do a kick sample technique using um, a net and we go into the river and we sample the macroinvertebrates that we see. And this tells us what kind of pollution is like in the river. So I did a pond dip a minute ago. Let's go and see the results of it. So here are our results of the pond dip and although at first it might not look like we've caught a lot, we've actually got quite a few things. So this guy you can see here is a mayfly and he's an indicator of um, clean water. Also next to him we have another type of mayfly, another species, so that's pretty interesting. We've got some shrimps swimming around and in here as well we also have a few beetles whizzing around every now and again. So out of one little pond dip we've got quite a lot of little life in here. And this indicates that this river's got quite good water quality. So finally, where can this course take you? Well, it's important, obviously, if you want to pursue a career in environmental science, but it's also useful if you want to go on to study biology or geography at university. It's also helpful if you want to go and study um, planning, because if you are involved in any sort of planning stage, you have to do environmental impact assessments. Any career in climate science or biogeoengineering or anything like that would be very useful. So if this has got you interested in studying environmental science, please contact us on the Calliwith in Inquiries page and mention Carly Riley and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We look forward to seeing you in September. See you there.
Bye.